Greetings my peeps. I'm here at the Surf Shack in Pringle Bay. We're tasting the Belgian Pale Ale. So, as I mentioned before, this is like exactly the same as an American Pale Ale, but instead of using US05 yeast, you just put a Belgian Abbey yeast in. And immediately you get like that, um, that like spicy, beery, like you know what a brewery would smell like in the morning if you were to walk in there, in the actual brewery. That's the smell you get, but a lot of fruit is kind of layered around it. And yeah, it's amazing that how much difference a yeast makes. So if this had been USO5, it would have tasted clean, um, very little yeast smell. It would have just basically smelt like hops. But now, because of the yeast, you've got like this whole spicy, cheesy, uh, vice beer flavor to it. So let's have a taste. Yeah, and that's that's a very interesting beer. It's not true to style, so it's unusual. So it's nothing like you've ever tasted before. Um, but you can see the haziness. That is because the yeast stays in suspension for these beers, even though it's been chilled and filtered. It's just one of the characteristics of it. And the taste is very much tropical fruits, bananas, completely different to the pale ale will normally be actually tasting more piney kind of flavors. Um, yeah, so this Belgian pale ale is actually fantastic. Um, took a while to kind of get to the stage, it needed to be chilled for a bit longer because initially you have a little bit of a sulfur, what they call like a snatch, it's called the Burton snatch. It's a, a little bite that the, the aroma has before it starts to chill out and mature. Cheers.